Hey folks, welcome to another Case of Cuts stream. I'm gonna continue playing this game. We're going to continue with cloning Clive, my Esper character that I that I've been starting in the last in the last stream. Played for about an hour. Level nine, mutated human water merchant. I think we got done with <coughs> essentially just the red rock thing, didn't we? Let me see. Visit Dush. Recover the briny lure. Visit Shash. And uh, the weird wire conduit, indeed. So, so we have Dush. Is this Dush or Shash? Dush or Shash. So we have Dush here. And we have Shash way up here. So that will probably take us some time until we get there. But not that long. Once we are in this general area, maybe got done with basic grid gate we can make our way north if we are so inclined so that would be no problem um first of all i think what we need to do is get the rust wells out of the way since dush is you know is essentially north of the rusted archway we're gonna do rust wells go to the rusted archway you know go through that stuff we'll get like <laughs> cybernetic stuff down there um, which we don't need but we might as well just you know we might ju as well just go along <coughs> go along for the ride uh, and then we're going to do some historic side stuff and then make our way towards the jungle I think that sounds like a good idea granted everything with the big caveat that we need to survive everything so uh yeah let's get started i think we're just going to ah oh god i'm lost did not quite work out so oh dear there is something going on here betel boy preaches the chromaic gospel okay we can probably get some luminous horse rooms here so Let's get that stuff. Let's see. We have two Borderlands Revolvers, a Glow Sphere, Steel Short Sword. But our main sort of weapon of choice is. Oh dear. Oh dear. That guy is shooting. I don't want to. I don't want to be in the. I don't want to be in the. In the line of fire here. Um, okay, so someone got killed. Canticles Chromaic, Fractured Microchip. Yeah, I guess we're gonna pick up those books. They are worth quite a bit, so that's nice. And we're pretty good at trading, so that's also nice. Uh, <coughs> we're still lost, so we're just going to go... Just going to take a trip through the Desert Canyons on foot. Um, our laser is pretty alright so far. I need to keep in mind to take it slow to, you know, <coughs> to not rush in, to always recharge my stuff, and yeah, okay, the laser is pretty powerful at this point though, so uh, these normal snapjaw grunts we can just, uh, we can just attack with our melee short, melee short sword. And that works, so that's good. We're wearing a chainmail, yeah. <coughs> I'm going to go mostly for armor value, I think. Thing is, our strength will at some point limit how heavy the stuff we can carry. We're gonna see. Yep, so far so good. <coughs> <coughs> ah, dear me. Uh, yeah, the well-worn news. We don't have anything on our backs yet, so that's nice. And uh, we did not yet regain our bearings, if I see this correctly. Discover a quiet pig farm. I think you can talk to these folks and ask where you are, so... Hmm, we're still lost. And this is not where the pig farm is. Okay, we will regain our bearings. Nice. All right. So let's go to the rust wells immediately. We're just going to quickly do this, but with care. 
So let's wait here. Oh, that guy was murdered by a young ivory. Well, that happens. Shoot that thing. All right. Painted white brimmed hat. Let's take a look at it. Metapher the <coughs> third. Mm-hmm. Bunch of these folks around. Tree. Small rosy. T <coughs> small rosy tube. Oh god, the coughing has gone worse actually right now. It was kind of all right early on, but uh, yeah. All right, let's see. All right, also, um, let me talk a bit about my plans going forward, maybe after this character. So what I want to do... <coughs> ah, dear me. What I want to do is I kind of want to alternate uh, Esper types, various Esper types, you know? Like, I've only just sort of begun um, investigating this stuff. Like, this is a not... This is not a very, very well-built character, so we can probably improve a lot uh, from here. And just take different things and do different stuff with the Esper. Uh, so that's going to be... Yeah, I'm going to alternate that with um, playing melee. Various kind of different melee type characters, you know? And I'm going to be radical about that alternation. So even if the character dies immediately, uh, we're going to... You know, do the other one again. And there's a lot of variation that you can do in melee, right? So I've had a bunch of character archetypes that uh, I kind of got into. You know, we have the punch fist, trukin kind of build. Um, we have the tur the turtle tortoise thing with uh, carapace and freezing hands, right? Um, we could also play a trukin weapon based thing again. So I've had a lot of luck with that in the past. You know, there's a lot of stuff we can do. And um, I just want to change it up some more. And to not fall into the thing of doing replay most recent character. Again and again. Because, uh, you know, I want to actually be able to iterate more, I guess and uh, to change it up some more. So uh, yeah, after this character dies, <coughs> we're going to switch back to a melee focused character. And after that, we're going to go back to an Esper and so on and so forth. And uh, I intend to do that for a while. So that's that, you know, and if a long, if, <coughs> if a run is long and uh, I get far in it, that's great, you know. That means we can stick with one thing for a bit. Ah, let's pick up the Kudzu stem, why not? Destroy the Kudzus. Yeah, being a ranged character is really good for this. Let's recharge. Here we go. Oh, where did that amoeba come from? Oops, did not see it coming. Let's rest up again. <coughs> One other good thing is that our toughness is not too bad, actually. So... Oh, I forgot to do the water ritual in... in Joppa. Need to do that as well. But yeah, our toughness is not too bad, so we have 55 health at this point, and, uh, you know... We don't die immediately from being looked at funny, which is a good thing. The thing that will probably increase our survivability quite a bit. So that's nice. That's a 20 wire strand. That's not what I'm looking for. Did I already find the one in here? It's weird. I think I didn't. So maybe the beetle bum ate it or something. That happens sometimes. They go for items. Eh, let's go down. Hello. Bunch of snap jaws here. Want chameleon as well. <coughs> Which is easy. Good experience at this point. 
will cease to become useful pretty soon. But uh, an engraved beaded bracelet, that's nice. That's going to be worth a lot. Hey. Spock tick. Also good easy experience. Alright. Zap that guy. Do this. Fantastic. Ah, there we go. That's the wire strand we're looking for. Those are the droids we're in fact looking for. Why did I do? Don't do pop culture references, Jay. That's bad. That's not good. That is. Not good. Okay, we've been taking a few hits here, but that's fine. Let's collect this. Rest up a bit. Kill some more things. All right. Oh dear. Famished. Oh dear. Okay. All right. We already got uh, the wire strand here. So let's use crab jerky. Eat the meal, get the health up, which boosts our health to 62, which is nice, and go down. Hey, immediate spark tick. Giant amoeba and snapjaw. Nice little diverse selection of prey. What do we have here? Just an iron mace. Not very interested in that. Now everything is sappy. Because I splashed it with a lot of sap. Such it goes. Apparently the hermit is fighting the beetle bum. We're just going to leave those folks alone because... Not interested in getting involved there. What happened with the boarskin gloves? Wait. They were cracked, right? I think they were cracked. Apparently the... Do not know. Do not really... Never fought a spark tick for that long. But apparently... Spark ticks can... Crack your equipment. That's alright, I guess. You know, usually we're not going to... Let them come close to us. Hey, there's a lot of them around here. We're almost at level 10. That's cool. Alright, here is another wire strand. Because I didn't find one on... Uh, on one of the floors, we need to go one deeper. And uh, yeah, we have more interesting stuff to fight here. You know what? Let's let our folks... Enter the picture. <laughs> they are using the injectors that they have. Yeah, we gained a level. Nice. Uh, there's a lot of battling going on over there. That was a killipede. Cloning Clive. I did not. I did not gain that level. Oh yeah, right. So we and clone and our buddy there got the experience for that. And because uh, you know. Things. So they leveled up later than I did. Okay, uh, that's the sphere of negative weight, obviously. That's a blaze injector. And uh, we can probably put some points into this stuff now, right? Yes. So we're going to do this, because we only have an ego of plus four. Um, we're going to start increasing this stuff using the mutation points that we've been collecting. Indeed. So the next increase here is going to give us one more copy, which is nice. And uh, this is going to increase damage. And we have now seven charges. That's nice. That's really good. 
All right. <coughs> yeah, we're getting somewhere. Ooh, there's another killipede. Oops, let's be vigilant about this. Okay. And let's see whether we can find that wire strand. Okay, there's... Oh god, there's an awake slumberling. We're going to start sprinting. And I'm going to be out of here because I don't want to fight that slumberling. I don't feel confident that I can actually kill it. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to be real careful here and we're just going to go to another rust well. Here we are. And uh, we're probably going to find that wire strand right here at the at the surface. So that's good. That was the goat. Let's kill all of these pesky snap jaws. I think that's the one. Indeed, that is. Find 200 feet. We got 200 feet of copper wire. Uh, got lost and immediately regained our bearings and we're back in Joppa. Okay, so that was rather quick. Need to take some detours was not the most straightforward thing, but uh, here we go. <coughs> Weird wire conduit. Here we go. Nice. Um, Barathrumites, I accept your task. Indeed. Data disk, droid scrambler, and uh, here we go. Do you have anything interesting? No. So, cooking, gathering. We're going to get <coughs> harvest tree another way. Um... We might actually go for basic tinkering and get disassemble as well. You know what? I'm just going to do that so that we can take stuff apart that will be useful. And let's, whoopsie daisy, let's go here. Let's do the water ritual with you. Who likes you? Who hates you? Admired by the Asachari tribe? Okay. And villagers of Sanimus. I don't know where that is. I don't care. Let's do this. So Joppa went up, Isachari went up, Sanimus went down, that is fine. I have a secret to share with you, indeed. Let's share some secrets. Here we go. Um, we cannot do harv <coughs> harvest tree yet. So what we're gonna do is we're going to talk to the elder. Ah, <coughs> oh, Christ, okay. <coughs> Begin the water ritual. Putus Templar went down, Vines went down, Naphtali Tribe went down. Putus Templar already hate us, so that doesn't matter. Naphtali Tribes as well. Vines, eh. They also don't like us, so... Would you teach me your ways? Let's get Harvestry. Okay, Harvest Plants. And uh, let's learn of a secret. <coughs> An event from the life of a Sultan. Oh well, that's not that useful, but... Whatever. So, let's eat apple mats and be on our way. Now that we got that finished, I think it's time to go north. So let's go north. Hey, I'm lost right before the rusted archway. Should probably also do a bit of um, desert canyon exploring, by the way. Because, uh, no, don't attack that guy. Because, you know, sometimes you find cool stuff, like Dromat Caravans, for example. And uh, we do want to find an outside Dromat Caravan. It's going to be really useful, because uh, we are pretty good at trading. We have... <laughs> well, talking about it, that's good. Okay, Elastan Skin Suit. That's a bunch of stuff that might be interesting. We can essentially just buy everything. That's kind of the cool part. Um, okay, <laughs> let's see. Let's get the lead slugs. Spiked gauntlets, steel boots, steel plate mail. How heavy is that? Can we see how heavy that is? Hmm. Tiny trinket, weird artifact. So, tiny trinket is probably a chem cell of sorts. Okay, 
I need to actually take a look at my equipment. I'm going to do that soon. <coughs> um, but yeah, it's not much beyond that. Let's take a look at our equipment. So we have chainmail. We wear crocassins and we have boarskin gloves. Okay, so... Uh, should we just go all in on armor? I think I'm just going to do that. So we're going to steel boots, plate mail. Don't need the spiked gauntlets. Mass and skin suit might actually be better, but if we go all in, we go all in. So let's get the trinket as well, because I do want to know what that is. Our steel sword, our steel short sword has rusted. Mm hmm. So we might just get. Do you have anything? No. <laughs> it's not that bad, but we should probably replace that at some point. Um, okay, we're going to get rid of this. <coughs> the bloodstained neck rings. And uh, yeah, from there on, we're just going to do that. And another one. And that's fine. Cybernetics credit wedge, also worth a lot. Canticles chromaic, not worth that much. But, uh, okay, let's do that. Yes, trade complete. Now, yeah, it's pretty heavy. I was kind of expecting that, but uh, here we go. Plate mail, it's 60. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Remove this, get those steel boots going, and uh, get rid of the stuff we've been replacing <coughs> so that we can carry some more. I think the chainmail was also pretty heavy, so yeah. Anything else? So we got the lead slugs, which is still not that many, but at Gridgate we will actually be able to collect a bunch. Yeah, the rest is not interesting. Okay. 184, yeah. This is really heavy, we can probably not go much higher than that. And now we got an armor value of 8, which is kind of nice. <coughs> Might be a bad idea for this type of character, but yeah, well, whatever. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to the rusted archway. Let's explore this for a bit. Hmm. Carbide short sword. Here we go. Counterweighted carbide short sword. That's even better. And a weird artifact. Poison gas grenade. Going to disassemble and uh, yeah uh, that's interesting that's cool cool stuff tiny trinket oh that's a desalination pellet we can also uh, could also be useful at some point so yeah uh, let's take apart the scrap that we have and to keep the injectors we don't have any cells, don't we? Yeah, we cannot actually use the chopper recoiler yet. Mm -hmm. However, counterweighted two. Plus two to hit. That's pretty good. We're going to equip that. Also, we did not have another short sword, so... Oh no! That's actually a steel plate mail. Here we go. Such it goes, right? Well, whatever. Now we got it. Uh, we already got it. Doesn't matter. Let's preserve our food. And we're hungry, so we might just use the bear jerky to cook. And keep going. Oh, that's a lot of boars here. Might get some meat out of that. Yes, indeed. Raw boar meat. Good. Need to remind myself to recharge. So let's recharge the laser to seven and keep going. Yeah, they can actually take a beating, these turtles. Sorry, tortoises. Jesus, badly wounded. Okay, so it's going to be done pretty soon. Oh, yeah, right, they can actually. They can tighten their carapace. That makes sense. Uh, 
wounded. Oh, it's actually recharging. Fuck it. Let's just zap that thing. I need to use that, the Temporal Fugue, with greater abandon. I need to use that more. <coughs> Hello. Another ball. Yeah, the increase to hit is pretty good here. Uh, Counterweighted Carbide. It's nice. Nice to have. Very nice to have. Let's zap that skunk. That's an easy bit of experience. And uh, let's go down. Slimy Rusted Archway Compound. Here we go. A bit annoying that it, that it is slimy, but uh, eh, whatever. Okay. Rest up. Recharge the laser. And keep going. Honey skunk. I'm just going to murder everything that I can. Get every last bit of experience out of this. Which, you know, two points at a time is not a lot. Or one point at a time for some of these. But still. Don't need to kill every prickler around. And jilted lover, for that matter. Just the ones that are a bit annoying. So, yeah. But, you know, for example, those centipedes and the two-headed boars, that's still fine. That's still kind of neat. Again, it's not a ton. But it is a bit. And I like that. Copper nugget. Again, copper nuggets are not terribly useful for us right now. You know, like the other, the variable trade goods are way better if you play high ego. Such it is. Oh, Stuff around. Okay. Rest up. Yeah, this is actually kind of good for experience and stuff. So. It's a decent bit. Also, we're just level 10. Um, I think I, I went here actually a few times with much higher level. And at that point, you know. The law of diminishing returns, or the specific law of diminishing returns in this, which means every five levels, everything is going to be worth less. Um, that just meant that this wasn't really all that worth it. Oops, eat the meal, yeah. Did not actually want to whip up a meal, but uh, such it goes. That is a stun gas grenade. We're going to disassemble that. A uh, leather cloak. That's on the back, right? Already have the one banus, so we don't really need that. Let's go down again. We're probably getting pretty close to where we want to go. Which is just the bottom of this. Probably going to get a few... A few things out of it. A few cybernetics things. Which is going to be useful because that's essentially money. Okay, there's a musket turret. Weird artifact is destroyed. Okay. Musket turret dies, indeed. Here we go. So, what do we have here? Witchwood, vine wafer. Ah, oh, copper nugget vine wafer. Nothing interesting. But oh well. 
Shotgun shell. Another fixed spray phone. And some more can't have it all. That's nice. That's a good hole. Oops, I don't want to attack that prickler. For some reason that was still counted as enemy. I think I attacked it without finishing it off. So that happens. <clears throat> Did I pick up anything interesting? There was something, right? Oh no, yeah, that was just the other. The other fixed spray foam. Neat. So if we gotta get our stuff destroyed or rusted, we might make use of that. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break and um end the recording video here and uh, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 